as of late. Mm -hmm. well, let's take a look at what we have for us right now with Longview with our Skyview camera brought to you by the Monster Law Firm. We are seeing mostly clear skies out there this evening. It is a nice one out there, but it's also chilly. 44 degrees. The temperature uh, west wind at six miles per hour and the dew point of 32. So the air is chilly. The air is also dry as well. This is also the time where you're, you're going to want to start to have the hand lotion and the chapstick handy because the air is going to be bone dry for the next couple of days here. The high temperatures from today looked like this upper 50s along Interstate 30, but the rest of us were able to climb into the 60s. We climbed up to 61 in Tyler, 64 in Henderson, 65 in Lufkin, 69 was the high temperature in Hemphill, so it was quite warm for us for our day today down into deep east Texas. As we head into tonight, though, we should drop into the upper 30s. For the most part, as you head out the door uh, Thursday morning, so make sure to have the jackets and the sweaters handy as you head off to work or school tomorrow morning. We will see a plenty of sunshine, though, for us as we head throughout the day uh, tomorrow. That's going to make things perhaps feel a little bit warmer than it actually is out there. Temperatures in the middle and upper 50s, to even the low 60s potentially down into deep east Texas. So it's going to be a comfortable afternoon overall, as long as you have maybe a light jacket or a sweater handy for you during the afternoon noon hours, especially if you are uh, more in the shade uh, than not. But by your evening commute on Thursday, make sure to have the sunglasses with you because we are going to see clear skies as the sun sets. And we all know how annoying the sun can get when it's uh, setting at that afternoon, especially as you're heading westbound. So definitely have the sunglasses ready for ready to go heading into your day on Thursday. But the clear skies overnight into Friday morning will help temperatures drop to freezing and just below it along Interstate 30. And then the rest of us should stay mainly above freezing, but really just above freezing. Clouds increase for our day on Friday. That keeps things pretty chilly. Highs only in the upper 40s to low 50s on Friday. And then even as we head into Friday night, uh, things are going to be quite chilly by 10 o'clock Friday night. Temperatures are in the upper 30s to upper 40s out there. Over the next seven days, temperature wise, we are going to be staying below average. The normal high is 60 degrees. But again, unlike the week, unlike last week and the week before that, we are going to be below average this time, getting as cold as 48 for the high on Monday of next week. Because of the rain increases on Monday, it will be a lot colder. Looking even farther ahead, to your six to ten day, six to ten day temperature outlook. Uh, this is valid between December 20th and the 24th. So up to Christmas Eve, we are expecting below average temperatures. The darker the blue, the better a chance of seeing below average temperatures. So at this point, it's going to get even colder as we head into uh, the end of next week. It's just a matter of how cold it will get, but we could easily start to see morning lows down into the 20s over the next coming weeks here as we head towards Christmas. Your seven day forecast looks like this. We are going to stay mainly dry through the weekend. We will see a chance for some showers though on Monday as our next rainmaker moves on in. We'll gradually warm back up through the 50s on Tuesday and Wednesday. Chance of a stray shower on Wednesday. And then for deep east Texas, it is more of the same, although we will see a chance for some isolated showers on Saturday. And overall temperatures for deep east Texas will be slightly warmer than northern areas, but we will see that rain return as we head into the day on Monday.